Hi. So in last video we have derived the formula for speed and the formula we reached was speed is equal to distance divided by time and the units for speed were meter per second or meter per minute or kilometers per hour. We had one more which was meters per hour but when we talk in terms of hours the distance in meters will be very long. So we convert that into kilometers and then we write it in this format which will be kilometers per hour. So these three are the units which are used most frequently. So this was the formula for speed and now if we are provided with speed and time and we are asked to find the distance, what will be the formula for distance? Yes, here if we see carefully on the right hand side of this formula, time is in division of distance, right? And we want to find the formula for distance. So if we multiply the right hand side by time, we will get rid of this time. So since we are multiplying on the right hand side, we have to multiply on the left hand side also. So if we multiply both sides by time, we will get speed multiplied by time is equal to distance divided by time. This was the original formula for speed multiplied by time right and multiplied by time can be written as multiplied by time by 1. We have learnt it in fractions right. So now if we solve it here we have time and here also we have time. So time and time will get cancelled and we will get distance is equal to speed multiplied by time right yes so this is the formula for distance where distance is equal to speed multiplied by time right and what about the unit so if your speed is in terms of meters per second this time will also be in seconds and the second and second will get cancelled and unit will remain in meters, right? And this is what the unit of distance over here also. So the unit of distance will be meters or kilometers, right? So this is the formula for distance and these are the units of distance, right? Yes. So now if we want to find the formula for time, what will we do? Again, if you see properly on the right hand side, this time is along with speed. So if I divide right hand side by speed, I will get time alone on the right hand side. So since we are dividing the right hand side by speed, we have to divide left hand side also by speed. So we will get distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. This was our original formula and we are dividing both sides by speed. So here also we have to divide by speed. Then this speed and this speed will get cancelled and we will get time alone on the right hand side. I am writing it here time and this will be equal to the left hand side which is distance by speed. Right? So this is the formula for time. If you are provided with distance and speed, you can very well find the time using this formula. And what about unit? Unit of distance was in meters. And what about the unit of speed? Speed can be either in meter per second or kilometers per hour. Right? So here we have a fraction in the division. That means we have to multiply this numerator which is m by the inverse of this fraction. This fraction is m by second 
meter by second. So this will become second by meter. And here this meter and this meter will get cancelled and the unit of time will be in second. Right? So if the distance given is in meter, the speed has to be in meter per unit time. And then this unit of time which is used in speed will become the unit of time in the formula. Right? But one thing you have to remember is the unit of distance if it is in meter, the speed has to be in meter per unit time. If the distance is in kilometers, the speed has to be in kilometers per unit time. Right? So you have to remember this and the unit of time will be either second, minute or hour. Right? So this was the derivation of formulas for distance and this was the derivation for the formula of time. Right? And these were the units which are very much same as the units of time used in speed. Right?